I am so fucking lucky that Gran Turismo has this replay function. Now granted, it's not as robust as Black Ops Theater Mode and can't do the fun things that Black Ops Theater Mode can do, but this motherfucker saved me from a night of frustration and breaking something. I'm talking right after this race, I was literally looking around the room for something to break. And you know what I'm talking about? Something that you could break that you wouldn't mind if it fucking breaks, but you want to break something because you are so fucking pissed. This race right here, it was probably one of my most exciting, one of my closest, probably one of my most satisfying races that I've had in Gran Turismo 5. And when I looked down at my recorder, my recorder stopped midway through. No joke, like midway through the third fucking lap. Halfway through this motherfucker, almost the halfway point, my recorder stopped. And I sat here like, I can't believe I just lost the best race I've had on Gran Turismo. And I was so fucking pissed. I mean, beyond fucking fuming. So I was so happy to see that. I at least had this replay function. You guys noticed there was no countdown at the beginning. At the end of this race, it's literally just gonna end. The end of the video is just gonna be, that's it, no more video. Because the end just cuts the shit off. There's no like standings, no points, no nothing. It's just straight replay of exactly what I did in this race. Now, the reason why this race is so important, what you see by the title, it's a butt-puckeringly close race. And I mean literally, at the end of this race, it is so fucking close, my butthole literally puckers the fuck out because I was so pissed at this goddamn race. I think this is like at least my third or fourth attempt doing this motherfucker. It's called the US Championship Race, and the idea is you're supposed to take one of the most powerful US supercars, whatever the fuck, into this race. Now, I decided to take in the Celine, Saline, how do you pronounce this shit? Celine? Saline? Whatever. I decided to take in the S7, alright? I took in the fucking S7 against all these goddamn race cars. Now, this car right here, the S7, is powerful as fuck. It has plenty of horsepower, plenty of speed to be able to keep up with a lot of these cars on some of the other tracks. But the problem with Indy are these fucking turns. These turns make me slow this motherfucker down because it turns like a pregnant woman. So trying to keep up with all these goddamn race cars is next to impossible. So every time I was getting around these turns, I was losing speed and I was getting my ass kicked. And real quick, you guys are noticing, I do have some different music besides hip-hop and reggae and salsa music. You guys are listening to a little bit of Papa Roach getting away with murder. So I do have some extra music on my goddamn PlayStation, just so you guys will know and recognize that shit. But anyway, getting back to this motherfucker. It took me, I think this is my fourth attempt trying to do this goddamn race, and every fucking race, the same thing happened. One, I couldn't get out in front. I didn't have the car tuned perfectly. But then when I finally did get out in front, I had to do shit like this. I had to absolutely brake as hard as possible because I was going into the wall. And these motherfuckers right here are tailgating me. Look at that shit, man. Motherfucker passed me. Now I know people are gonna say, oh, that's drafting, it's slipstream, aerodynamics, and physical. Oh, fuck that. In New York City, this is called tailgating. You do this to a motherfucker, you slam on your brakes, and when they run into you, you hold the back of your neck. That's what it's called. It's called tailgating. I don't wanna hear no bullshit. So in this fucking course, I have to tailgate. Now granted, listen, I make fun of the Indy course, I made fun of NASCAR, I made fun of Daytona, but I gotta admit, every time I'm on this course, I do have a lot of fun, mainly because of this whole tailgating, drafting bullshit. Now in Gran Turismo, I don't know why they came up with this bullshit team right there, put that motherfucker in the wall. I don't know why they allow you to take any car into any old fucking race, and you guys have seen it, you've seen my videos. I put the Bugatti Veyron against fucking French hatchbacks. I put the Lamborghini Gallardo against Italian hatchbacks. I don't give a fuck. You pick the highest powered car, you put it in the fucking race, you win $200. I spent $100,000 buying those fucking cars, and I win $200 in those races. Whatever the fuck. In this race, this is one of the most fair races that I've had. The car is built to win on a straightaway. It's not built to win on these fucking turns. So what ends up happening is every time I get to a turn, these motherfuckers are past me. So this was probably the most fair race that I've ever been in. And like I said, at the end, it's gonna get real fucking close. And you see here, I got a Viper behind me, I got a Ford GTR in front of me, there's gonna be another GTR right there, I don't know what the fuck that car is. But he's trying to pass me. And this is the whole point of this race, is I'm trying to keep these motherfuckers back. Now even in the replay mode, I'm trying to show you the rear view. You can't see the rear view in the, the actual replay. I actually have to physically show you this view. But during the game, I was watching these motherfuckers like a hawk. And look at me, fuck that shit up, man. I had that guy pass and I fucked that shit up. I was watching these motherfuckers like a hawk. I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm letting assholes like that pass me. And that shit was just pissing me the fuck off. So, we're in the final lap here. And like I said, this is where shit's gonna get close. Now again, I also mentioned that this video is just gonna abruptly cut off. So I'm gonna say it the shit out the way. Y'all know the drill. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know you enjoy watching this stupid shit me running around a track for five fucking laps doing bullshit. But eventually this video is just gonna cut the fuck off. And I'm just gonna end it right there. I'm not gonna talk over no goddamn black screen. So, final lap. I'm in first place, but I hit this fucking wall. So coming into the final turn, taking a look behind my back, I see these guys are trying to sneak up on me. So this motherfucker passed me, are you just kidding me? I have one fucking left, that was it. All I need to do is pass this motherfucker, but luckily, my car is faster than him, so I'm able to beat his ass, I win the fucking race, and all that came out was one drop of pee. So that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next Gran Turismo video.